Donna Ross. The goal is to fill her classroom with such energy. Give him a high five, one, two, three. Set. Okay. But the kids never suspect that she works two other jobs to survive. And so I've been up since five o'clock this morning. She drives for Uber and caters weddings because a master's degree and 20 years experience barely brings a living wage in Oklahoma. But you can see where my net pay was, oh, it was less than 1200 I was being liberal. But, um, Just over $1,000. Correct. And, and that's for... That's, a, that's one month. That's a month. The most desperate sell blood, and some like this former Marine and special ed teacher rely on church soup kitchens to eat. And I've helped at food banks, I've helped deliver food, I've helped do all those things. I honestly never thought I would be on the receiving end. I have to swallow my pride a lot, and I hate asking for help. This state has long been the state with the deepest cuts to education. 55 United! But something about the West Virginia strike helped turn Oklahoma anger to action. I mean, I got on Facebook and I typed in like Oklahoma walkout, teacher walkout, nothing popped up and I was like, why not be the guy that makes the group? And now it has about 72,000 people. And it just started with you sending it to a couple of teacher friends? Sent it to a couple of teacher friends and they started inviting other teacher friends and the next thing you know, I mean, it just exploded. Wow. So, I mean, you don't get... You don't get 72,000 people in the group in three weeks if there's not a problem. Just the threat of a walkout was enough to force the first new taxes here in 28 years. Enough to give teachers an average raise of about 6,000 bucks. But it is a fraction of their demand. So they're still walking. But for how long? And how will this affect Arizona? Where teachers there are staging the next red state revolt. The difference between a strike and a walkout is uh, you're not defying the school. The superintendent is behind you. But could it turn into a strike if things got nasty? A lot of the superintendents say that they support teachers and they support what teachers want to do. So I feel like as long as teachers want to stay out to fight for what we're fighting for, I think there'll be lots of support. But teachers are not the only frustrated public servants in Oklahoma. State troopers have to ration gasoline. Prisons are overcrowded. Social workers are strapped. But at the same time, oil drillers and gas frackers enjoy the most generous sweetheart subsidies of any state in the country. At one point in time, our light bulbs were every other light bulb in the building. Really? Meanwhile, in Inola, classes are crowded. They're on a four-day week, and the math teacher mows lawns. We do better at this than we do the at the, at the school teaching as far as the money goes. Is that right? Yeah. You make more cutting lawns? Yes. Do you service the lawns of your students? Yes. Yes, every now and then we will. I know that excellence is not a hat. It is a habit, a way of life. It's a similar reality for Miss Ross. We'd like to do more teaching than driving. Yes, let's hit that. And was spotted waiting tables by one of her fourth graders. Make sure you're dancing. And was mortified. He just said that, Miss Ross, you really work hard. You work a lot of places, don't you? He said, you must be rich. And I said, I sure am. <laughs>